Hi, my name is Christina Berenstein. I'm the author of Lost Alliances, and this video is to explain the Guardian people. Um, hmm, I'm sorry for the awkward silence. I was just formulating my thoughts and stuff. Um, so the Guardian Desert is a desert that is a little bit unusual. It is um, actually the sand is volcanic uh, rock and it's all black. It's black sand. Um, you might actually find some amethyst stones in there, which aren't terribly valuable, but they are valuable enough. Um, there are oases spread out throughout the desert, but they are heavily guarded by the Garzean people. Now, the Garzean are humans, but they're very unusual humans. Um, they are immortal because they were blessed by um, the elves for their service services in quotes too um, during a very ancient war that I will explain in a different video uh, the great war the Garzean fought valiantly and so their people were granted immortality and immunity to magic um, so they can walk through enchantment they will not do anything to them they are completely and totally immune to magic they cannot cast magic they cannot be affected by it um, they are highly skilled assassins um they're kind of like mercenaries because that's what assassins are um guns for hire you know except without guns they generally use daggers they're kind of like ninjas but cooler um the garzine generally are very dark-skinned people they blend in very well into the desert with the black sand um they're generally very powerful, strong, not necessarily all that fast, but they're very strong, very good at moving in silence, and at using their clothes to hide in their environments. Um, they generally don't look all that heavily armed, but they generally have about a bazillion of knives hidden everywhere they can find. They wear usually loose clothes, um, like um, robes or something like you would find in the Saudi Arabian desert, for instance. You know, just very loose clothes to help with the desert, because it's, it's a desert, it's hot. Uh, and there's a lot of wind, you know, windstorms, sandstorms. And uh, it also helps them to move a little bit more quietly, muffle the sound of their weapons. Um, you will not find a better fighter amongst humans anywhere. Um, the Garzine are famous or infamous, depending on who you ask, for their skill. And... They're not the only humans who have been blessed with immortality, but they are probably the largest group of them. The Garzine are very nomadic. There's not really any specific village that they just settle down and ta-da, here's our village. They tend to move around. Um, you will generally find a settlement somewhere near some of the larger oases, but you probably will never find the oases. And if you do, you probably won't live to tell of it. They do not trust outsiders. I can't remember if I said that or not, but they don't. They don't trust them at all. Um, I guess they're almost like gypsies in that matter. They just, they don't trust outsiders. Um, they don't like people who use magic. They don't trust them. They don't like elves. They don't like vampires. They don't like anybody. Um, they're actually really awesome though. There's actually one of the main supporting characters is Durkin, and I really like him because he's hilarious. He is important to the Garzine, but much less important to my story. He's actually Eladin's best friend, and he is a great guy. Um, the Garzine people have a very rigid sense of honor, and they have a code of conduct, and, you know, we don't just kill for money. At least that's the way that people were supposed to be. They, they're they not meant to be like that. They're supposed to be courageous and honorable. But they're, they've been a little corrupted. This is probably going to be a pretty reoccurring theme. Is that people who are meant to be better have become corrupted in their purpose. And it's going to lead, not necessarily to their downfall, but the theme is happens a lot. Is that they've forgotten why they were there. And they need to be reminded of that. Um, I haven't really nailed down exactly how important the Garzine people are going to be, but I think they're definitely worth mentioning. So, keep an eye on them. They're very cool, but kind of scary. Very scary when they want to be. You definitely don't want to be on the receiving end of one of their daggers. So, read my book and watch my videos.